It was time for another trip, and as you can see, the airport was empty. Even my gate, here's my gate. No one waiting for the plane at all. It was like the Twilight Zone, and there really wasn't anything out on the runway either happening, as you can see there. Now, this video will be a little bit longer than my normal videos that I make because um, I kind of wanted you to see a lot of what I saw while I was there. No worries, though. Uh, going to be a nice quiet flight with it being that empty and uh, I was actually headed out to uh, Germany for the weekend of horrors powered by the dark zone and uh, had to make a brief stop in Ireland as well but uh, there we go up into the clouds above Nashville headed to uh, our first stop and I was uh, I was flying this airline uh, called um, Cunnilingus or something like that I, I think is, is how it's pronounced. Anyway, they showed this um, video and it was either a safety video or it was um, how to do like weird kinky airplane sex uh, when you reach cruising altitude. I, I'm not sure which. But I found ways to keep myself busy. I, I started with um, a viewing of the Ant-Man. Uh, Ant-Man was playing. And then, uh, well, that was, uh, that was followed up by San Andreas, uh, right there, with uh, The Rock. And uh, speaking of rocks, there's some. Uh, followed by a screening of uh, Terminator Genesis, uh, with all the, um, the creepy little robots and Arnold is back. And followed by a screening of me and Earl and the Dying Girl, I think it was called. Uh, yeah, it's it's a long trip to Germany, but first had to stop at the Dublin Airport And when I got there the airport was lit up like uh, a disco It was disco night at uh, the Dublin Airport really cool airport very nice as you can see here uh, all clean and shiny and pretty look at that I was very tired from all those hours in the air, and uh, just in time, I found the Coffee Express, just what I needed. Oh wait, scratch that, scratch that. No, I found the Irish Whiskey Collection, just what I needed. Now, I know there's a big time difference in Ireland, but I didn't realize how big. It's, it's Christmas time in Ireland already, as you can see. So, I, the, the time difference between there and the U.S. is huge, um, but hey, there's Germany. After leaving Ireland, uh, hopped on over to Germany for the last leg of the trip and was picked up in the van. And uh, the van was taking us to the hotel. And it didn't take us too long until we got that baby up to 120. That's right, 120. And as you drive in Germany, you see all kinds of cool road signs like this. Asphalt. Gotta love it. So, got checked into the hotel and uh, Looking out my window there at the hotel, I, I have to look down in the parking lot, and who do I see? It is, look, Eric Brandon, promoter of the Dark Zone and the show. And he's saying, here ain't any convention anywhere. Um, but there's Eric headed into the hotel, getting ready for the big weekend. Now, in my hotel room, I didn't do this. It, it must be haunted. I looked over, and the TV was on. It just came on all by itself. I think it's hainted. So I'm minding my own business in my hotel room when that little bastard BB-8 shows up. So looking around uh, Germany, uh, we were right there by uh, the little underground subway railway there that you go in and uh, kind of creepy looking little stairway. But uh, but there's the uh, there's the subway, and there was some other cool stuff around the hotel to look at. Uh, just take a look here at what I found real quick. Do you? 
for the dead. Now, I don't know what this was, but it looked pretty cool. I guess it's a Circus of Horrors, whatever that is. Um, but that looked like it was going to be neat. And then this thing from like 2001 Space Odyssey dropped out of the sky right into the middle of the sidewalk, right there. But uh, at least it was next to this uh, really nice little park. Really pretty. And it's a hot show, baby. It's a rock and roll party. So there's like leaves falling everywhere and the leaves are huge they're like the size of my head look at that look at how big that leaf is right there it's like the size of my head all these leaves are huge and never fear just in case you need them the ass and matchers are here in case you need to match some asses so that night I went out to grab some dinner with the, my old friends Terence Zadunich from Repo the Genetic Opera and Jay LaRose from the Saw Films and the night life was just banging. Look there's, uh, there's Terence and uh, Jay there. Headed off to check out the activities. And holy crap, look at that big ass beer. Wow. Oh, and I found this special store for Lisa O'Rear. I thought she might like that. Okay, so I gotta show you this, and you probably won't be able to see it on video, but this is the thickest toilet paper I've ever seen in my life. Look at this. Germans believe in wiping their ass. Look, it stands up by itself. This is like 13 ply, 20 ply toilet paper. Look at look at that, how how thick that is huh look amazing see it it doesn't take much to entertain me really it's early morning here in germany and we're getting ready for the first day of weekend of horrors powered by the dark zone and i tell you these dark zone people have their act together because look at this the badges for the guests are printed on both sides. How about that? Because inevitably, whenever I wear a badge, it always ends up on the blank side. Always. Brilliant. So Weekend of Horrors and Dark Zone Convention was packed with stuff, including tons of awesome, awesome celebrity guests that uh, you can see some here. Um, all kinds of cool stuff going on throughout the day. Now I mentioned the Dark Zone people were awesome. They even had Dark Zone coffee sitting right next to my table. Perfect. And not only that, my table also came with this when I arrived. Some Jameson. So, you know, the essentials for getting through a con weekend. Uh, and then I made a new buddy. There's a puppy there under uh, Leslie Easterbrook's table. But uh, we, we started out getting there. The uh, celebrities were getting all set up and the vendors and this huge, nice uh, area. And. Uh, there were all kinds of, uh, uh, of cool things to, to look at and do, and uh, I'll, just, uh, I'll just show you a little bit of them here. What's going on guys? 
We're happy to be here in Jim, <laughs> Germany with Jim, and Jim and I are having a good time in Germany. <laughs> Of course, they had a lot of film screening over the weekend, but they kicked off the convention with a special screening of Don't Look in the Basement 2, the upcoming film with uh, Megan Emmerich, Scott Tepperman, and myself. And the German people got a sneak peek at that. And, uh, oh, this was pretty cool, too. They had a little tribute set up to our departed friend, Richard Brooker. We miss him. And, of course, the international premiere of The Hospital 2 took place this weekend. And uh, the fans seemed to love it. We even won the sickest adult feature prize right there. So there's so much more to show you and tell you about this show, but this video is already way, way, way too long, and I need to wrap it up. But I want to thank Eric Brandon for everything and his incredible crew with The Dark Zone. Um, Eric is a guy who is a true fan that puts on shows for the fans, and that's really rare now in this business. Um, he doesn't look out for huge amounts of money, he looks out for the fans, and we all appreciate that. So thank you, Eric. Thank you, Eric's crew. Thank you to The Dark Zone. Thank you to all the guests who participated, and I hope to see everyone again really, really soon.